Welcome back. I'm Linda Kincaid. You're watching CNN Newsroom. A busy U.S. street turned into a makeshift runway as a small plane was forced to make an emergency landing in Southern California. The remarkable moment caught on surveillance footage. The pilot says she experienced some engine trouble, but incredibly, she didn't hit anything or anyone and walked away without a scratch. And this, mind you, is in the middle of peak hour. The Federal Aviation Administration is investigating. Well, on Hawaii's Big Island, molten lava from the Kilauea volcano has destroyed nearly 90 homes. And the danger is not over yet. Scientists warn that vigorous lava eruptions are still gushing from giant fissures in the earth. A key mandatory evacuation order is in place. Authorities telling residents in the area that they must leave or face arrest. Scott McLean joins us now from Hawaii. Scott, uh, no doubt first responders do not want to go and try to rescue anyone refusing to evacuate. You've been speaking to some residents who have evacuated. What are they telling you? Well, first, Linda, these people are, are fleeing these volcanic fissures that are shooting some 60, 70 meters into the air. And so you can imagine there is a heck of a lot of lava there. And you can't always know exactly where it's going to go. And it's been fairly unpredictable. And so that's why authorities seem to be at their wits end with people who are refusing to evacuate uh, over the past couple of weeks. It's been four weeks now since Kilauea first reawakened, re uh, started erupting once again. Uh, and it took this long for many people to get out. We spoke to some of them yesterday. Listen. I hate it. You, know, but you live on a volcano, you have to expect this in your lifetime. The fumes get so bad, I don't want to be in there even with a respirator. Um, your eyes are burning, the hair's getting in your eyes. Uh, it's just it's miserable. It's, like, it's just hell on earth inside there. Yeah, so you heard there, it's not only just the lava that's a threat, it is also the sulfur dioxide that is spewed out of these volcanic vents. But Linda, I have to say, the, the bigger threat right now, at least at this moment, is uh, people being stranded on the southeastern part of this island along the coast. There is a steady stream of lava heading toward the coast, which is threatening to cut off a main highway in that area. The latest reports that we've gotten uh, show that the lava is about 100 or 100 and 50 meters away from that road. And if it gets cut off, those people essentially would be stranded with really nowhere to go. And so authorities are pleading with people on that side of the island to get out. All right, so no sign of slowing down right now, Scott. But of course, the volcano itself has actually fallen silent. I understand a drone's flown over it. What exactly is happening there? Yeah, so we're in the lower east rift zone. This is where we're seeing those volcanic fissures. But about 30 kilometers from where we are to the west is the summit of Kilauea. It's a big, giant crater called Hale Ma'uma'u. And, and essentially, there, as it sort of it explodes and erupts, there are boulders and, and debris falling into that crater, creating a blockage. But when you have that heat from the lava underneath, and, and now that it's hit the water table, it's creating a lot of pressure of steam and gas. And so uh, for a while, we were seeing fairly regular explosions sending ash high into the sky. We're not seeing that as much anymore. And so the, the concern is that there's so much pressure building under there that it could, you know, we could see a much larger explosion. They could send boulders, you know, uh, one kilometer away, boulders the size of refrigerators or cars, uh, and send ash some 30,000 feet into the sky. So that is the big concern is in, in that area. So not only are the, the boulders a, a potential threat, but the air quality. So as you can imagine, that Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, where the summit is located, it has been closed for weeks, and it will not reopen anytime soon, Linda. Yeah, certainly a major concern. Will you and the team take care, Scott, and hopefully all those residents there follow the evacuation orders. Thanks so much.